The Yeti Coolster, does it actually work or is it just another hyped up product? There are dozens of other YouTube videos comparing the Coolster to other can insulators, but none of them are very scientific. Basically, they have no chart, as your fifth grade science teacher would say. In this video, we will do just that. Compare three liquid temperatures over a one hour period, taking measurements and charting every five seconds using a custom built data logger. The code in the schematics can be found on my personal website linked below. The comparison will be done between a Yeti Coolster, a heavy duty neoprene koozie, and lastly, a bare can as a control. All three of the test subjects have been in the same refrigerated environment for over 24 hours and were removed all at the same time. I'll now insert the temperature probes into the can and begin the test. The test environment is currently my office. It's probably the warmest room in my house and the temperature here is 80.2 degrees. The current temperature in the three cans is between 42 and 44 degrees. The data logger will now record temperatures at five second intervals over the next hour. I chose an hour because let's face it, if it takes you longer than an hour to drink a beer, you're doing it wrong and deserve a warm beer. Okay, it's been about an hour. Let's take a look at the current results. The temperature here in my office is 80.2 degrees. Wow, that stayed pretty stable. The temperature in the bare can, our control, is 70.02 degrees. That's about a 30 degree difference from the starting point. The temperature in the neoprene can is 61.59 degrees. That's about a 20 degree difference from our starting point. And finally, the current temperature of the Yeti Coolster is 51.13 degrees. That's more or less a 10 degree temperature rise over one hour in an 80 degree Fahrenheit, obviously, environment. Let's take a deeper look into the data points. The data logger stores all the readings in a CSV file on a micro SD card. I've opened that file and generated a chart. So here we see the data graph from our test. The time is displayed across the horizontal axis and the temperature is on the vertical axis. One thing I notice is that the neoprene got just a bit colder than the coolster at the beginning of the test. This doesn't really surprise me. I was actually expecting some of this to show up. See, the coolster is made of stainless steel and basic thermodynamics tell us that the metal is going to conduct. So what we were seeing here is the coolster actually robbing the test subject of several degrees in order to bring the inner temperature down. But once the two are at the same temperature potential, there's no doubt that the coolster's double wall vacuum insulation, yeah, I took that from the marketing sheet, has a much higher R value. Thus, your aluminum can beverage is maintained at a much cooler temperature. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, leave an idea in the comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching.